By the way, if you're a vegetarian or vegan, you don't want to watch this video. Zamara, you want to try? Do you want to try? She's my foster, so she never had one of these. Ooh, are they yummy? Yes? Choki already got one, and he, he's spurring it. So, yeah, the girls seem to really like them. Um, so, yeah, they usually come in like these really long rolls. So you can see here, um, they are quite long, and I just, I just ripped them into smaller pieces, to be honest, because they're just way too big. By the way, this video is part two, so if you haven't watched the first part of the video, then you might want to check this out first. Um, but yeah, we're basically going to talk about natural cheese and which ones my dogs like and we use on a regular basis. So you see here Panda, the one that looks like a raccoon, regular Panda Bear, and then we have Samara, our foster doggy, and then we have little Chucky, and they are all Wadi dogs, so street dogs from the Middle East, and they all love the rabbit skin. Um, so yeah, I guess it depends a bit on what you feed and whether you like to feed your dog. Um, also the hairy stuff. So we also have in here um, ones without, so we have ones without hair. So we have, for example, one venison ear left. And these are, by the way, the ones from JR Pet Products. So if you are in the UK, then I highly recommend you go with the JR Pet Products or the ones um, from Anko. This is where we got um, most of ours as well. So we either go with the JR Pet Products. I can pop you a JR Pet Products discount code in the description box. Um, and the anchor ones they have off cut so they are not like perfect but if you have like me four dogs then yeah these are quite a good option that is a bit cheaper as well so that is the only ear left that we have so it's a venison ear I just pop them in the little boxes um, in the other video I show you why I pop them in the boxes and um, usually we went in the first video through this whole container here and parts of this one so today I'm just going through this container and we just fill up our boxes for basically other rooms like my office so the um, dogs have something to chew while I work and you can see like still a big success so it takes them a bit to chew on them but not too long so um, the rabbit skin is usually gone quite quickly next one up we have the beef slices with hair they're actually three packages so I just pop one of these right back into the big container and the other two will empty into our little boxes here um, these are amazing. We already showed them in the other video. So this is what they look like. They come in different colors of hair, obviously. So um, yeah, they have the skin on this side and then the hair on this side. And they're also from JR Pet Products and um, aids the natural warming process, long lasting cares for teeth and gums. So you don't want to feed these too often. However, mine love them. So um, we have the small slices at the moment, but we also had the XL version. So they come in a proper XL version, which is like kind of like as big as this um, whole box. And this would last them for yeah, a good two days, I'd say. So these ones here, as you can see, they come in also different sizes. So they come in quite small sizes as well. So yeah, I quite like them, like the smaller ones for just like um, a chew in the morning or depending on how long for a walk we went or afternoons. But also if I have to leave them alone for a longer time, I would usually give them one of these because it takes them really long to um, chew them. Generally, you want to obviously make sure that you supervise um, your dog chewing things and you want to make sure they're not swallowing big pieces because it can be quite dangerous. Um, but with mine, the, yeah, they usually just take really long and can't even chew the whole thing. Um, I wouldn't go with a tiny bit, but with a long, chewy bit to keep them entertained for longer. Chucky would usually lose interest, but Panda would keep going on these ones until she is done. So then we have some more rabbit skin with hair. It's the rolled rabbit skin. I just pop that in here. So, yeah, it's sometimes there's like these fluffy bits, but this is what it looks like. We only have one left. So it's um, basically like the other ones uh, my dogs just had, but it is rolled in. So the skin is on the outside and then the hair is on the inside. So they're a bit more easy to, um, to chew. They're like less fluffy on the outside. They're again, quite a, quite a quick chew, I guess, but, but it depends on your dog. So for a street dog, wadi dog, like a village dog, and a body breed, um, quite a quick chew. However, my body breed doesn't even like them. So, and this is what we got left. So we have giant goat sticks left, hairy goat ear sticks, 
buffalo skin and beef tail so um yeah so we have one hairy box and one um not so hairy box so this is the um beef tails um i already showed them in the other video too this is what they look like um you might want to be careful with your dog whether your dog can actually chew them or only nibble around so like the outside bit so depending on your dog i guess so i just popped in three because i have three doggies here don't i yes Rambo doesn't usually eat them, so um, yeah, three is enough for us. I generally like to go through my packages because, um, yeah, they sometimes can, if you get like different packages, if you have more dogs like I do, then it just makes sense to order in bulk. <laughs> but you also want to make sure you stay within the um, best before date. So usually it's quite long, so this is a whole year to go. Um, some of them are even longer, but yeah it's you know it's a natural tree so i'd like to keep an an eye on what i'm actually feeding and what we have left and if they're in these boxes so you can quite easily lose track so i uh, just pop them back in and so i just know what is in there and get a good overview so yeah the boxes are actually quite helpful to also see what is available so these are the buffalo skin ones they are quite a long lasting chew they are quite hard ones so um, yeah, I just popped all of them in here because this is basically all that was left in the package. So all of them go into our box. So these are the um, Anko Giant Goat Sticks. They are not like in a perfect shape when you get order them in a book because we actually went for the um, outcut. So they are not as pretty um, or like, you know, in the best shape or sometimes they have been, like, odd looks or whatever. So yeah, we don't care what they look like to be honest though. Um, for us, they're quite a good option, and I just pop all of them in the box, so this is an empty bag now, too. And these are, yeah, quite a nice, um, relatively quick chew for my dogs, and they love them. So um, they love the goat sticks. They are just really good for them to just have a little snack. Um, I actually quite like to give them some of these after I popped in um, some of the um, plug rescue, so to basically get some of their... Um, their plug off from their teeth and then to kind of use this as a toothbrush to um, yeah get it off get the plug off you're so cute all of you yes and the last one is the um hairy goat ear stick this is what they look like so they're actually a bit too big for our box so we will probably leave them out um but yeah so you have the ear here and then you have like a little stick on it and yeah this is what i mean if you buy the off cut so they might not look as pretty, so they are like quite lengthy sometimes, but um, yeah, for us, this is okay. So it, I guess it depends a bit on what you're looking for. So I will leave these for now, while well, in the packaging, um, because I think we are set for the next couple of days, at least, depending on how fast you guys eat. Yes, how fast you eat. <laughs> this is it for us for today. So... I hope you liked the video and I would love to know what is your dog's favorite natural chew and where you get yours from because we're always looking for new ideas. Thank you. Take care. Bye.